Hi friends, welcome back to UNN Guide. This video is made by Anna Elechiku. So on this video, I'm going to show us how to navigate to do the e-learning website and also um, do your assignment and submit. So now what you need to do is just to open your Chrome browser or Chrome web browser. Go and to the link elearning.unn.edu.ng. Let's do that immediately. So now this is the website. Click on the top um, three line bars at the top right. Yeah, then once you see this, then you click on sign in. If you don't have an account, please do want to register an account. So here I'm going to click on sign in to log in my account, which I have created since last year, that's 2021 April. So click on username, I enter my account details. Okay, so sorry, I think I clicked on something else. So click on that again, then click on submit. Now I'll get to log in and you see my profile picture and my handsome face. Now click on the top um, bars again, top right bars, click on school, once you click on schools, then you are going to find some courses that you can register to. So, but before that, you have to click on the GS course, which is what we are going for. Then click on the UNN Online School of General Studies course. Then once you tap on this. Yeah, once you tap on this, it's going to show you a list of courses below that you want to register for. Now here you're going to see the coordinators, the handsome lecturers and coordinators we have in each department in GS. GS. So um, you have to look for the course you want to opt for. I'm going for GS208 and um, GS202. Basically, you should know the names. So if you don't know the names, it's on you. So um, here we have GS. We have um, GS208 um, and we also have GS202 below. So, have. so first of all, you have to register for the course. I have already registered for the course, but if you've not done that, you can just click on the course of your choice, then click on register for it. So click on this, let's click on um, GS208. So once you scroll down, you will find an icon where it tells you to register for the course. Now this is it. So for the fact that I have already registered for the course, I don't need to click on this icon again. So now, this is just where you need to click on and you're good to go. It doesn't take any much thing. So um, once you're done registering the course and um, you've picked the courses you want to register, just click on back and um, go back to this icon, three line bars here, then click on um, home, click on home. Now once you click on home, um, go to your account, sorry, go to your account, my account. So once you go to your account, if you want to do the quiz or take the continuous assessment test, once you go to your account, allow this to load and um, you will find, yeah, you see enter classroom, enter classroom. Look at where I'm showing you, stop looking at my face, look at the enter classroom something, yeah, click on it. Now once you click on the enter classroom, it takes you to another page, which is the virtual classroom. Now this is where you're going to take the quiz, now basically just... Um, it says browse available courses on the platform, view or modify your profile information, check your course and activity timetable. Now click on the browse available available courses on the platform. Now once you click on that, it takes you to this page. Scroll down and look for online GS courses. Now, I think that's the second to the last. UNN Online School of General Studies. Now click on this. Now once it opens, then pick the course you want to go for. So um. Basically, I'm doing uh, humanities and social sciences, so it depends on the one you're going for. So I'm going to click on humanities first. Now, once I get to humanities, I have to choose the course which I'm offering. This is Nigeria Peoples and Culture, GSP 208. Click on that. I'm using this for an example. I don't know your course, but do, show, uh, do ensure you use your course or whatever. So we are expected to submit this assignment by before 19th of February. So that's that for that. So the next thing you need to do is to tap on this assignment icon you're going to be sent or you're going to download a DOCX um, MS Word format um, document which you will answer the questions and resubmit so here uh, what you do is to click on this icon now it downloads it takes me to this page yeah take me to the page and also allows me to download it also downloads document which it should be my folder by now. I've not done that. Yeah, it says download file again. I've already downloaded it. That's why it didn't really go straight to the point. So 
can just download again now once the file is downloaded so you open the file let me use my document google document for that so once you open the file click on this pen icon here now come down to the editing parts you can just click on answer um then then answer the question and blah 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 i i i know you know the answer so just click on this good icon to save your response once you save it then um you can equally decide to um share or export in order to ensure you save the document so once you're done with that you have to go back to the account on your web browser click on add submission yes now here you have the add submission something now here you, it's where you have to drop the file you have saved click on this and um, click on upload the file it should be from your mobile device click on choose a file files here um, look for the file you want to save which is this continuous assessment this is it depends it depends anyway but it could be this it could be this so once you if you want to check you can just click on an icon to view it but i'm not going to do that so once you do select the something you click on next then you have uploaded as you can see here i've uploaded mine you can say save as um duka anthony and electrical assignment you scroll up my name is Duka anthony so it's already reserved then um yeah all right reserve then click on upload this file now once you upload the file it gets saved then you submit and you are good to go so that's basically all you need to do um it's not much difficult just follow the dues processes and you are good to go so enjoy also share this video to put other students um across in order for them to learn and know what they need to do on this so that's basically all. So once you're done, just click on Exit Classroom and click on this and click on Sign Out. And that's all. So good luck with your tests, uh, good luck with your quiz, and um, I hope you all submit your assignments. Have a wonderful um, strike or whatever.